In this tutorial, you will learn how to decode RF data using a software-defined radio. For the signal, we will use the encoder-receiver-transmitter signal that is transmitted from many residential power meters. The radio hardware we are using is the RTL-SDR, which can be purchased for under $30. The software application is Universal Radio Hacker, which is available on GitHub. First, open URH and create a new project. We will call it ERT. Change the frequency to 915 MHz and click OK. Next, we will use the Spectrum Analyzer to find our signal. Select the RTL-SDR device and click Start. If you are near an ERT meter, you will see a signal hopping to different frequencies around 915 MHz. Now that you know the signal is present, we can close the Spectrum Analyzer and open the Signal Recorder. Again, choose the device and start recording. You will notice a few bursts in the time domain chart to the right. After a few transmissions have been captured, stop and save the recording. Once the recording is saved, it can be edited to remove times between transmission. Select the portion to keep and right-click to crop to selection, or select the portion to remove and right-click to delete selection. Once unwanted portions are removed, the noise level can be adjusted to ignore the noise between transmissions. Zooming into this signal shows that it is on-off keying, which is a form of amplitude shift keying. Selecting amplitude shift keying as the modulation type and changing the view to demodulated shows the digital signal. The threshold between 0 and 1 can be adjusted to the midpoint between values. Measuring a couple of bits horizontally shows that each bit is 30 samples wide, so we can change the bit length to 30. Most of this data is clean without much interference, but if we want to clean it up more, we can view the spectrogram and extract each frequency burst through a bandpass filter. Once all of the signals are extracted and set to the correct bit length and modulation type, we can move from interpretation to analysis. In analysis, we first need to choose the decoding type. ERT uses Manchester 2. Next, we'll look at the Wikipedia page for the ERT protocol. The first bit is for synchronization, so we can select the first column and right-click to create a label.
The next 20 bits are the preamble, which should equal F2A60 in hexadecimal. As we highlight those columns in URH, we can confirm that the hex value matches. We can continue to create labels for all portions of the message. The last 16 bits are a checksum. When a label is named checksum, URH attempts to calculate a checksum, but the parameters for its calculation can be adjusted. We know that there are 16 bits, and the Wikipedia article gives the CRC polynomial, which can be converted to hexadecimal, as 6F63. URH drops the leading one digit. Finally, we need to select which bits from the message are used to calculate the checksum. It is the entire message except the sync bit, preamble, and checksum, so it is bits 22 through 80. In this case, the first message was missing one bit, so the checksum was incorrect by one digit. But the other messages all calculated correct checksums. The display format for each label can be changed to bits, hex, decimal, etc. in order to make portions of the message more human readable. In this case, we can read the consumption value in decimal format. The serial number can't be read directly because it is separated into the most significant bits and least significant bits. That's it. We've decoded an ERT message. Thanks for watching.